what's happening everyone welcome to our youtube channel don't forget to check out our website infixitonline.com once you're there you can click on this tutorial request link fill out the form here give us all the information about the software title that you want to learn more about or the hardware task whether it's learning a new application installing a new hard drive or hooking up your home network diagnosing the virus whatever the problem is you can fill out this form and get back to us and we'll help you out as best we can or you can send us a message on YouTube and we'll get back to you also but going to our website is the fastest way to get a response from us alright so now that we took care of that let's get into this current tutorial or how to video in this tutorial we're going to show you how to set up the software side of things now when you're hooking up your wireless router or your home internet setup All right. now we showed you the hardware side of things this is actually part two now we're going to show you the software side of things once you have everything hooked up now you're going to connect to your router All right. your address bar on the top of your screen you're going to type in http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168 dot one dot one and you're gonna hit enter and that's gonna connect to your router which you see here I have a Linksys router and this is the basic page now the address we just typed in that's basically um, a network address alright you don't have to worry too much about that it's the same as when you go into a web page all in short a web page is a network address also but they have them converted into names to make it easier for the average user and you won't have to do this much but um that's what you're gonna have to do to um log into your your router now a lot of the times you'll see it will ask you for a password when you first log in now for the most part the default password is the username is admin a d m i n and the password is also all right now it might be different for some manufacturer routers but for the most part it's the same and if it's different just check on the documentation that came with your router or you know you can go to the manufacturer website alright now let's get into it this is the setup page that you will see you see we have different tabs up here setup wireless security applications and game and so forth I'm gonna just go through a few of these but just the basics in this tutorial just to get you up and running in further tutorials I'll go through the more advanced options for the people who want to see what um, those options is about alright now the first thing is this you want to set up to your um, your modem your ISP modem so you can connect to the internet now you have everything set up already and just remember if you're using cable or you're just using a router you had your computer hooked up solely to the modem and you just installing the router remember you have to um, do a pull a plug out on your modem so it can reset on the MAC address all right, or you'll have a problem connecting the router to it. That's just something to keep in thought if you run into any problems. So you see, obtain the IP automatically. This is what you will use if you have cable, right? You will keep it on obtain the IP address automatically, and it will give the information. It will take the information from your ISP and put it in there. You can have a static IP address. If you um hooked up a static IP address, you would know because the ISP will give you this information and tell you to put it inside of your router alright or well, you see PPPOE a lot of DSL companies use this to connect and they will give you a username and they will give you a password also alright and then serve that in there alright so I'll keep it on obtain the IP automatically then you see you come down here to network setup and this is about your local network how do you want your local your local network prepared now you seen we use the um IP address 192.168.1.1 that would be the IPS of IP address of your router and the subnet mask would change automatically you don't have to change those and say local DHCP server uh, you let your router handle this and you can have your router hand out IP addresses to all other computers on your network I recommend this so you won't have to go through the problems of trying to assign an IP address to all your computers it just makes it easier and you can change the last octet 
for where you want the IP address to start for your other computers. Right, you could keep that at 100. The number of addresses you can give out to different computers, and then you see your DNS. That's also beyond the scope of this um tutorial. More in depth tutorials, we'll get into that. Then, of course, your um time zone. Here, I will put Eastern Time, US, and Canada. You put your time zone in there. All right. Then, under setup, that's basic setup. That's what you want to get going. That's going to get your internet going and everything else once you put obtain the IP address automatically and you click on save settings it will go into effect and it will start talking with your modem alright then you have DDNS that's disabled MAC address cloning and advanced routing and on the side here exactly it tells you you know what these options is about but like I said this is about basic setup in this tutorial so we're gonna just keep it simple alright then the next tab you have is wireless alright now this is how you're gonna um, set up your wireless network with your laptop or what have you if you have your desktop hooked up wirelessly you see the mode you got B and G this route is B and G you know you have um, uh, 802.11 n networks going now but this router here supports B and G you got B only G only your mix probably best to keep it at mix and the wireless network name SSID when you searching for your router this is what you would see here the name because you might have other wireless networks in in the area alright now it's, it's, it's Linksys by default because that's the kind of router and Linksys does that you could change this to anything uh, my home network whatever you want you could change it to there we just leave it at de default Linksys alright um the channel and the wireless SSID broadcast you know to have it out there for whatever um, wireless nodes is out there looking for a wireless router alright you can have that enable or disable now the next tab here is wireless security this is an important tab here you see security mode I have it currently disabled um, I don't recommend you leaving your wireless router open because it will leave it open to anybody to, to use your internet they won't necessarily be able to get into your network but to use your internet and uh once they in someone that know what they're doing they can dig deep all right and you see this here has three options on um different securities to use you got wpa pre-shared key wpa radius and wep wpa is pretty much the strongest now you have out now of course, um, the router I'm currently using is WPA2, which is a stronger encryption. All right, but you want to have some type of security. Now I'll get back to this before the tutorial is over. Show you how you can go online to certain websites, and you will see they have pre-generated keys, and you can take those keys and just change a couple of the characters on there. But before the tutorial is over, I'll go into that. But we're leaving on WPA for now. Then uh, wireless network access. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back here. When I go to WPA shared key, you see the WPA aglorithms. See TKIP group key renewal. How many seconds in the shared key is where you will put here. We'll get back to that option. Let me just go through these real fast. Wireless network access. You can filter by MAC addresses if you want to make it even more secure. Only systems on your um, network. You can go. And put in their MAC addresses to make sure those are the only systems getting in. Then you have advanced wireless settings here. We're going to move on to the next tab, security. Now with this, this is good if you um if you have young children in the house or if you have a small business network and you want to filter um which computers can go on the internet at what time. Okay, the next tab there is applications and games. Now, different applications and games, like game consoles, you might want to go online. They may need different ports to work online. Okay, so this is where you will configure your ports. Ports you might not want open on your computer, but the game might need it to work. Then you see port triggering. That's this tab, start port, import, uh, UPnP, forwarding, and DMZ. Like I said, we'll get into that in further tutorials. You don't... Um, need to know anything about any of these things 
and you don't have to worry about them exposing your system to anything at their default settings also. When we get to administration, this is where you can change your password on your router. Like I told you, the um, basic password to get in was admin. The username and the password, you could change that here. All right, and put it to whatever you uh, want to put your password to on both. All right, and um, you will definitely want to do this because if someone is like just browsing around, um, searching for wireless networks, and you leave everything at default, your internet is open, you don't have no security on it. They can basically log into your router and change everything around on you. All right, and then they can really get access to your systems on your um computer, especially if they know what they're doing. All right, you see, um, log. This is how you log. You know what's going on. Your router logs everything that's going on between your computers and the internet, and what computers is accessing your router, and so forth. So you can um set up logs here. You see factory defaults. If you want to um restore your router to the um factory defaults, you can do it here. Then you see firmware upgrade. If they update on their firmware. And you can mess the system up uh, with the wrong firmware. All right. Then the last tab on the top here, you see you have status. Now this would basically will let you know the date, the firmware date and version, of course, uh, the current time, your the MAC address of the router, um, the type. This is from your internet here. You see that here under status. Um, how you hooking up to the internet through your ISP um, modem, the IP address that your ISP gave you. All right, so that's your basic setup. Once you get these things set up, you will be able to get on the internet and you will be able to get going with no problem. That's it for this tutorial for how to hook up a wireless router, regular router, or set up your internet modem. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Fix It Online, Twitter and Fix It Online, of course, um, the website and Fix It Online.com if you're here on YouTube. And if you're checking us out on YouTube, don't forget to comment and rate the video. That's why we're here, to keep you guys going. Alright, thanks for visiting another tutorial from InFixItOnline.com. Until the next one, peace.